All right, we'll move on to our next story. Now, it's a little bit off topic here, but I think you'll find it interesting. Australian mining billionaire Clive Palmer is apparently reviving plans to build a $1 billion replica of the Titanic after millions of people have registered interest to travel on the vessel. Titanic 2 will have all the grand ballrooms of the original and the design will stick to the original plans, even down to having third class cabins. However, the new Titanic will have all the modern amenities and facilities. Now, I'd also assume the vessel will be built using modern materials, i.e. no riveted cast iron hull. Um, the, the original vessel had steam boilers, which used uh, three giant funnels to get rid of the smoke they produced. Now, I know what you're thinking. There were four funnels on the Titanic, right? And you would be correct. But the rear or fourth funnel was non-functioning and it was just there for aesthetics. At the time, the grandness of a ship was partially determined by how many funnels the vessel had. You know, the bigger it was, the more funnels it needed. So, and the fourth, the fourth of the Titanic made it more impressive to the people at the time. I'd also assume that the ship will have enough lifeboats to go around. Uh, or, you know, all the jokes. Um, I, I can see some issues with this plan. For instance, who would want to sail in a third class cabin, right? But having said that, let's not mis be mistaken here. Um, they still exist now. They just call inside cabins. You know, they've got no windows and they're in a uh, very forward uh, part of the ship, low down, no windows uh, with, you know, little comforts. So that, that's kind of the equivalent of a third class cabin. But on the original ship, the areas would have been separated by locked doors. The third class passengers would not be allowed into the first class areas. I'd assume they'd have access to the entire vessel as it's pretty much done today, right? And of course, the ship would be required to have all the safety equipment of a modern ship. Now, who is Clive Palmer? Uh, we mentioned, as we mentioned, he's a, he's a mining billionaire. He, he was very popular on the channel last year after a super yacht named Moti Yacht Australia ran aground in Singapore. That's tongue in cheek, of course. He was not popular in the comments whatsoever. Uh, Palmer is a former politician in Australia uh, who made his fortune in mining, as I said. And in fact, people with knowledge of his yacht painted a very dark picture of what it's like to work on there. Uh, we were told he micromanages everything on board and the crew were given very bad contracts and not treated well at all. Now we can't confirm this independently, but we were told this by multiple people who say they worked there in the past. Anyway, going back to Titanic, the, the original Titanic was about 50,000 gross tons and by today's standards would be considered a small to medium sized uh, ship, you know, liner, cruise ship, whatever. The new vessel will be 56,000 gross tons and would cost around 500 million to $1 billion to complete. Now the project completion date is 2027, which I think is unrealistic because they haven't even started building it yet. And a maiden voyage, well, you've, you've guessed it, will be Southampton to New York. Now the big question is, would you sail on this ship? Are you superstitious? Do you think it would be in bad taste to build something like this? Or are you in favor of a new Titanic? I have to admit, as some, someone who read an awful lot about this story over the years, even before the movie came out, I'd be super curious to go on board and look around. Not sure I'd want to be on the maiden voyage though. Uh, anyway, let us know what you think in the comments if you'd want to go on that vessel. Thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip. If you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video, you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here. And if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel.